What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Best Tech 1200 watt power inverter from Amazon. I picked this bad boy up for 80 bucks and you can too. Uh, let's see what you get. Do you get some quality for 80 bucks? What appliances does it run? I'll go ahead and pit it up against some uh, different appliances I have around with the house. So with that, let's get started. All right, on the front side here, we have two 120 volt outlets. Uh, it has a child safety lock built into it. I don't really care for that, but I guess if you have kids, might not be a good idea to stick forks in there if you didn't have it. Uh, we have some USB ports right here, a power on button, and a basic LCD display. The front, let's go ahead and flip it around the back. All right, on the back, we have our two screws for attaching our uh, power clamps that will go onto our battery. We have four fuses here. Um, I haven't been able to blow any of these out. If you can figure out how to do it, let me know. Um, comes with some spares just in case you do. Nice fan. Uh, I'll say one thing about this fan. It's pretty quiet. Um, can't really hear it running even when I'm pushing this to the max, which you'll see here in a bit. So with that, um, we have a nice little solid aluminum casing. Um, seems nothing really shakes in it. It has a little handlebar. It's very compact. So that's about it for the outside of the unit here. It comes with an instruction manual, pretty basic, very basic one page. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but here's some of the little features it has, uh, overload protection, uh, under voltage protection, um, some other different features, uh, temperature, input. It tells you the uh, output, the wattages that's being used with it, which is kind of cool. It also comes with this little best tech card for uh, every problem and we'll take care of it. Um, that's kind of cool, but I don't know. I wonder if they actually would, but who cares? I'm not talking about that, we're talking about this. So with that, let me go ahead and put this up against a space heater I have. I'll All right, also... first test. I have it plugged it, hooked up to my battery. I'm going to power it on. Okay, power's on. This is a, I believe this is a 250 watt little baby heater I have. It should have no problem running this. Let's go ahead and try it out. And here's our LCD screen. Let's turn it on. Okay, it's turning on. It's showing 150. It's still climbing. Seems to be running just fine. We have our input and our output voltage. Seems to be running fine. No problems with that. With that, let's go ahead and crank it up to a bigger size heater here. Now that we know how it runs a 250 watt portable heater, let's see what it does against an actual fireplace. Indoor electronic fireplace, of course. This fireplace has two settings, that is 1500 watt and 1000 watt. So let's see if this little guy can crank up and uh, how well it does on 1000 watt. With that, let's press the button. Okay, you can hear it a little bit in there. It's showing on the LCD display. A little over a thousand watts. Oh, there's a thousand, a little under. It's putting off some heat. Uh, I could definitely feel it. It's a little hot in here anyways. Um, but yeah, it's putting off some heat. So with that, let's go ahead and crank it up to the 1500 watts. Oop, and it's just making this weird buzzing noise and it just kicked off. So this is actually not rated for 1500 watts. This is rated for 1200 watts, so that doesn't surprise me that it kicked off. So now that we know it could run 1000 watts, no problem. Um, let's try it with maybe a light. Right, and a... For our final test here, let's just test it with a basic light bulb. This is a 57 watt light bulb. Go ahead and turn it on now. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So overall impressions on this for 80 bucks, you get quite a bit. You're not gonna get 3000 watt um, inverter or anything crazy, but if you have some little heaters you wanna run off your solar panels, uh, maybe save some energy in the winter months, or if you have a little basic backup system where you have some power tools, a lot of power tools fall within under that 1200 watt category. Um, some, you know, if you have some buffers for your car or drills or you could charge your batteries i mean this is pretty versatile uh but yeah i would recommend it if you're looking for something cheap that's pretty high quality built um that'll get the job done for under 1200 watts usage go with best tech they got some of the best reviews on amazon that i found and uh 
overall it's a very sturdy product so hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe i appreciate any new subscribers i get until next time super build x